This is Talk Radio across the UK, online, on DAB+, and on the Talk Radio app. Evenings with Kevin O'Sullivan on Talk Radio. Uh, I want to talk about uh, a very worrying syndrome uh, that's going on now. Students from 30 universities are calling for a nightclub boycott amid fears that there's an epidemic of something called spiking going on. Now, we've all heard about the scourge of uh, date rape drugs, you know, men slipping drugs into women's drinks uh, and then uh, taking advantage of them later. Well, the new thing, uh, very, very uh, worryingly, seems to be something called spiking, uh, whereby uh, men are going around crowded nightclubs and bars uh, with loaded syringes and just jabbing them into women's arms. Now, so alarmed is uh, Home Secretary Pretty Patel by this that she has called for an urgent report from the police on the scale of the problem. But the scale of the problem does seem to be fairly large. As I said earlier, groups from more than 30 universities all over the UK have joined an online campaign calling for a boycott of uh, nightclubs until their safety can be guaranteed. And uh, this does span uh, the length and breadth of the country. Uh, so what on earth is going on? Uh, let's talk to uh, Alice Watson-Brown, political commentator. Uh, good evening, Alice. Evening, Kevin. It's certainly interesting to be on air with you. I usually listen to you on the Thought Police, so it's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, well, I promise not to swear this time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, actually, actually, I can't guarantee that, but I'll do my very best. Uh, Alice, what do you know about this uh, spiking thing? I must admit, I, I heard about it on the news last night, and then I've seen about it in the papers today. And uh, clearly, the Home Secretary is very, very worried about it. And a lot of young women, or a lot of women all over the country are worried about it. It's a very sinister development that men with loaded syringes are stalking nightclubs and sticking them into women's arms. This is terrifying. I know it's incredibly concerning and we don't know what's in them either. It's more subtle in a way to inject a woman rather than uh, spike their drink. It's sometimes you can kind of tell if your drink is spiked because it goes cloudy and things like that. But an injection, you can easily just bump into someone by accident in a nightclub and then it's done. Um, and it's also really hard to discern on the actual evening if you're a victim, if you have if you have been spiked or not, because you can just black out and your friends go, oh, classic her, she took it too far. Um, it's awful. Um, and I think people who haven't been through it don't really understand the serious mental trauma that a victim can go through if this is not dealt with in the right way, if they're not given the equipment to, you know, to get to get over it and cope with it. Um, hearing about this, it's sort of over the past five days, we've just been getting messages on, you know, group chats and things like that, university Facebook pages about people being injected um you know blacking out waking up in the hospital i mean it's it's terrifying um it, it, sh it obviously shouldn't be happening this is at the hands of sick-minded individuals yeah, who think this course. is okay so, um so you say uh blacking out waking up in hospital and god knows what happened in between uh police yeah. scotland say they're investigating alleged incidents in edinburgh dundee glasgow and aberdeen uh, merseyside uh police say they have investigated but have not as yet uh, uncovered any evidence of criminality uh but uh, given that 30 women at 30 universities are calling for action there's clearly and the pri and the home secretary's got involved uh, there clearly is some cause for alarm here. I agree, um, but we do have to remember that obviously these, not denying that they would have happened, that they are unverified. And what's happened now, This it's sort of spun into a culture of fear and panic, especially on social media such as Instagram and TikTok. And I don't necessarily condone this. So, for example, um, with the injections that had been going around everyone thought this was true that the poor girls who had been injected had contracted hiv from these needles when actually that wasn't true they were just being treated for hiv as a precautionary measure um and now everyone is is panicking um they obviously they've arranged this boycott for next wednesday um well that's happening at my university uh, where girls just are refusing to go out as you know as a sign of solidarity um but i i think the culture of fear that it has sparked is, is reductive. Um, it, it it does nothing, but it's still a sense of panic when issues like these need to be treated with and addressed with stone cold rationality. 
Um, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I suppose it's probably a good thing maybe that Pretty Patel is getting involved. I mean, I'm rather surprised that she's actually asking them to do something useful rather than drive around in robo cars and <laughs> letting protesters disrupt everyone's daily life. But, you know, I suppose in, every day is a school day. In fairness to uh, Pretty Patel, uh, she's probably uh, very worried about women's safety. It is very much uh, the issue of the moment, isn't it? Uh, I mean, yeah. what is it about men that they treat women in these terrible ways, do you think, Alice? So, or power. Some, uh, some I should say of... some men. Yeah, I, I, I think that, yeah, there's a big distinction to be made as I think coming out of these Instagram threads, there have been a lot of hate all men, anti men. And I, I don't agree with that. It is a select, you know, group of sick individuals and we have to treat it so. Um, and yeah, I, I think these men, they obviously have a power play. They are mentally ill. They have a perverted yeah. sense of women. And yes. their function in society is purely a sexual object. I personally think that if you are caught spiking a drink, you should go to prison for rape. What, what you know? Because what, what else are you planning to do with this oh. poor girl or, or boy? Um, there have been instances of men being spiked. This is, but obviously, it's mainly targeted at um, at women. But I think with Pretty Patel, if she really wants to show that her law enforcement um, is principled and taking a stance over women's rights, then she should call for the resignation of Christina Dick, um, obviously <laughs> having overseen the malpractice um, of Sarah Everard, which is the biggest, biggest issue in Met's history, in my yeah. opinion. Alicia, uh, you are singing from my hymn sheet. I've been calling for the resignation or the dismissal of Cressida Dick uh, till I'm blue in the face, uh, but uh, she won't go. Uh, but uh, I totally agree with you. Uh, great to talk. Uh, let's talk again soon. Uh, political commentator Alice Watson-Brown there. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. Uh,